piece of cake. Did not crush the burrow. So this is uh, the last camera trap that um, Kevin is checking. He's been working with us for two weeks now, uh, taking pictures of giant armadillos. And uh, Kevin, can you please tell us why you chose, why you came all the way from the United States to work with us on this project? And, and tell us a little bit more about your experience working on this species. Well, I heard about uh, giant armadillos, you know, decades ago, and it remains one of the, the least known um, and frankly, rarely photographed animals. I mean, most people dream of seeing one. I mean, there are people who come to this country just to, for the chance of seeing a giant armadillo because there's almost nothing is known about them and no one has, almost no one has ever seen one. And after two weeks in the field, I've only seen one once for a fraction of a second. So I realized when I came last year and we had a chance to work together for a couple of days, I was gonna have to use camera traps exclusively. And that's what I've been doing. I've been setting camera traps like these at various locations around the forest, uh, wherever there's a burrow, so we know that there's an animal there and what comes out to the following morning, it takes its own picture. Uh, that's how it works in theory. Uh, sometimes you set up a camera and it goes the other way, or sometimes it comes and it gets so close that all you get is a little piece of its back. But uh, over time and over the last couple of weeks, we've had a couple of uh, pretty good opportunities and gotten some really nice pictures of an animal that, uh, frankly, you know, no one knows anything about. So it's a uh, it's a great feeling, actually, to, to feel like I'm in on the ground floor documenting such a, a little-known species.